Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a new OP pack that is repeatable that was released yesterday, and that is the 87 plus times 10. I want to talk about why that SBC is OP just like the 85 plus, although it's a little bit more expensive. We'll talk about that. That moved the market yesterday, and those packs look really good, and I'll tell you why they could be even greater next, uh, not next week, but well, into next week with Footies Batch 3. Still only one day away now, coming tomorrow on Friday. I want to talk about today, though, with rewards and what could be happening with the market and also talk about FIFA 22 just a little bit because check your emails. There were some closed beta codes. Seems like more people got them this year than in previous years. Scrolling through Twitter and looking at a lot of people that posted a screenshot of the email from EA. But I, myself, was one of those people that actually ended up getting a code. I got an email yesterday saying... Welcome to the FIFA 22 closed beta. I got FIFA Ultimate Team and kickoff. Honestly, the, the I, I got foot, man. I'm happy. I got foot, so I'm going to be playing some of that. Of course, I won't be able to talk about it live on the videos or even on stream really that much. I mean, that goes for anybody. It's, uh, but I specifically cannot do that because that is, uh, I think you even have to sign an agreement like when you go into the game that you can't talk about it. So kind of interesting and we'll, you know, we'll see where that goes. There's going to be leaks and stuff on Twitter after this does come out. I think it starts um, today on the 12th, actually. Uh, you can actually get in and test the game mode. So you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff around that. A lot of probably, you know, leaks and stuff on Twitter are going to surface and stuff inside of the game is going to be talked about because of that beta that is released. So check your emails if you have not, because you will get an email. That's the only way to get a code is get an email from EA Sports. Um, that's the only way to do it. But again, what is on hand for today inside of FIFA 21 is of course, rewards. And I think that's going to impact the TOTS market again. Now, I want to talk about the SBCs from yesterday too really fast because yes, we had the 87 plus times 10 and I think we'll start with this one, but we also had a Quadrado that was overpriced and a brand new footies vote, which I think a lot of people might get excited for for that player coming on Friday. So 87 plus times 10, this is coming in at around 200,000 coins. It's five squads. They got rid of the rare gold requirement, and they just now are requiring low tier squads. Again, I wish they would just do like an 81 or an 82 rated squad and then pop in an 86 rated squad instead of doing uh, just multiple different squads. So what I'm going to check right now is I'm going to check some of the lower tier rares. I'm going to 2100 coins. Let me check some of these rare golds that are lower in rating. I want to see where they're at. Okay, so rares are about 2k. I was wondering if the lower tier rares would drop at all because I know for sure that some of the higher, not not higher tier, but like the index 81, index 82s had huge spikes yesterday because this is basically people seeing that 87 plus times 10 going out and doing that pack. You saw um, 81s, 82s, 83s, 84s actually as well, all really spike. For a short period yesterday now a lot of those have come back down 84s are still up a little bit because of that 84 squad requirement but especially like the 81s and the 82s huge huge price increases yesterday with that 87 plus times 10 because when you have packs that look like this the Penta is tweeting this one out yesterday literally an entire pack of all 10 tots cards with 95 94 295s a 94 a 93 and a 91 rated team of the season cards in these packs. I mean, I can only believe how insane these are going to be on Friday when batch three is released with 99 rated summer stars that are going to be in packs with Path to Glories, probably some team of the seasons being re-released as well. These 87 plus times 10 packs are going to be massive. So I'm really excited to see what goes on with those. And, you know, they are going to be a little bit expensive, but with all of the swaps packs and even the 85 times 10 that people have saved for this Friday, I think there's going to be a very easy shot at doing some of those, especially if you have grinded the swaps and you've gotten these first three, one, two, and three token packs. You're just going to be getting a lot of rares, and especially for the 81 plus, the 83 plus, you're going to have low enough rares that you could chuck in that SBC and at least get a couple of them done uh, just because of the sheer number of players you're getting through this. And if you have a few coins to spend, putting those coins into that 87 plus times 10 looks really fun at this stage of the game. So hopefully that 87 plus times 10 becomes grindable through upgrade packs next week um, with uh, maybe like a double 81 plus upgrade pack would be very nice to help grind those to get some of those higher rated. So as long as like the low tier rare golds drop off a little bit, I like 
the possibility of grinding some sort of upgrade pack, even if it requires rare golds. Like if these cards drop down to like 1.5K, I'm totally down to be buying just rare golds again that are not like 80, 81 rated um, if those drop down low enough. So we'll have to see if that happens, but that could be another grind that we see happening next week that could be very profitable um, just based off of the fact that those 87 times 10 packs are gonna be pretty sick. So again, speaking of content a little bit yesterday, Quadrado was released, right? We were expecting to see a Quadrado SBC. We knew he was gonna win the vote. He did end up winning. But his SBC is just expensive, man. It is a great card. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. They did give him a plus one in the weak foot. But 83, 85, 86, and 87 rated squads is taking this Quadrado to like 360,000 coins, which I think if you look at the other right backs on this game is just too much. Now, the interesting thing to note is that some right backs actually dropped yesterday, even with Cancelo being stupid expensive. Take a look at Cancelo, or sorry, with Quadrado being stupid ex expensive, take a look at Cancelo here. He went from 59, 58, 7,000 coins down about 10, 12,000 coins, kind of rebounded back up. Paredes went from, let me zoom in real quick, went from 230K all the way down to 195. So I don't know if there's anything related to people selling off this Paredes, of course, because like end of an era Messi didn't come and people are selling him off because that SBC had not gotten released. Or is it if it's just because Quadrado was released or whatever it may be? Uh, but this Paredes is down, which is kind of interesting to me because some of those Argentinian links with Acuna, with Di Maria, um, and with the PSG links as well, this is still a very, very, very good card in this game. One of the most popular right backs for his links in FIFA. So I'm, I'm interested to see where that card goes today. Of course, today with Weekend League Rewards means that some of these Taz cards, while they are in packs, are going to get supplied even more because they're in packs and they are in the, of course, Elite Plus rewards, top 200 rewards as the tradable ultimate packs and the Elite the elite packs and top 200 packs that are available from those rewards. So I would definitely keep an, a, a watch on some of those cards today to see where they do move. And of course, I'd be careful to watch your Summer Stars and Pat the Glory items because this might be an opportunity if some of these cards go up to cash out, right? Chiesa, 462. Chiellini, 315. Lukaku, 270. Um, some of these cards are definitely up and they're going back into packs, in my opinion, tomorrow on Friday. I don't see any way where EA does not put these cards back in packs. So that would be 100% a place where I would look to take some cash today or maybe tomorrow morning on Friday, but maybe today is the safer route. So definitely watch out for some of these Path to Glories and the summer stars because those are going to be dropping but maybe they have one last rise today at rewards where you can get out of them and maybe a little bit higher of a price yorente is down actually you know what 890 that's actually kind of a big undercut i want to see if he dropped yesterday with quadrado being released he did wow 950k down to 880 which is kind of crazy i know yorente is an sbc player in Path the Glory player that a lot of people love, but the fact that he is dropping this much, Quadrado must have a lot of hype in this game. It must just be the five-star skills, and people maybe having some extra fodder from opening up their swaps packs, um, you know, early or something. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm gonna keep an eye on this Yorente because he's very, very rare. And if I saw somebody undercut just a little bit too low, I would maybe uh, swing in there and try to fluctuation trade one and get a sale back at like 950 because he's still a very overpowered card. Links to Ramos and all that good stuff. So I'm kind of interested with that Urente and the Paredes just to see where they go um, on the market. But Thursday, today on Thursday, not entirely sure what the content's going to be, if I'm being completely honest. Thursdays have been quiet days. I don't know if there's any league SBCs that need to be re-released. Serie A, MLS, UCL, EFL Championship. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's definitely some league SBCs. I think last Thursday, what we saw was some sort of like upgrade pack or marquee matchups. And then they re-released League SBCs. Thursdays are usually pretty quiet. That's one thing that we have learned the past couple weeks. Thursdays are pretty quiet days for content. We'll see if there's any new code added today. But as of right now in FIFA, it seems like a lot of people are just grinding their icon swaps, grinding some last second packs for batch three, whether it's 82 plus player picks, the 87 times 10. This is basically like your last chance uh, to maybe craft some of these cards, some of these SBCs, and get those swaps games in before those new items come into pack two packs on Friday with batch three. So 
that's kind of the, what is looming in the future is those batch three packs. And that is, of course, what everybody's excited about. Now, I'll, you know, we have to talk about this for a second, too. With the FIFA 22 beta being released and being out and seemingly a lot of people getting this, is this also going to take people away from FIFA 21? It might a little bit, to be completely honest. People might stop playing FIFA 21 if they have access to this beta and they're having fun because it seems like a lot of people did get the beta. So after Friday, I'm expecting a lot of prices to drop off. And I'm going to talk about this a little bit more tomorrow in tomorrow's episode as well. But on Friday, with all the packs being open, I seriously think we could have a pretty sizable weekly sell-off. Um, as people honestly sell some of their cards from the end game team or honestly just drop off the game to be completely honest and that might make cards get more rare some of them and go up a little bit but with these cards being back in packs I think that's just going to create less demand with these cards continually still being in packs and being supplied uh, I think this FIFA 22 closed beta is actually going to pull some people away from the game and make some prices go down lower so that's my one little tidbit here at the end of the video um, that I do think you could be watching out for as well. Now, maybe today with rewards, since the rewards are in a couple hours, you see some rare golds drop. Could be a great opportunity to get in on some bids if you really want to grind it. Get in on some bids for some 81s, 82s, 83s, and 84s if you're trying to just build some of these 87 times 10s from scratch to get into... Um, saving for batch three and maybe some 82 plus player picks as well if you need some non-rares those will be good snags today if you need some rare players those will be great pickups or if you're doing your last minute squad battles games of course um i guess that's not really relative to the market but um getting in some of those last golds that you could buy maybe maybe a little bit cheaper because of the supply from rewards today so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be getting my squad battles games finished up i have to buy some ucl italians to get more swaps um, finished up. And then technically I'll only be on four swap tokens. So maybe I'll have to either play rivals or I'll probably try to go for like icon swaps, Premier League or Serie A. And I might only get like two of the packs. I might get the 81 and the 83 times 25 packs done for Friday and then save the 84 times 20 until I get those last couple swaps finished up. For my account so that's kind of my plan again today i'm not entirely sure content wise it might be a bit of a slow day oh i have to mention tonali tonali's objective that we had yesterday too i mean absolutely phenomenal phenomenal upgrade on this card his moments item that was released earlier this year which of course uh is inspiring this footy's favorite tonali was a great objective card right one it kind of started off if you guys remember getting this tonali was one of the first club 80 cards that we had earlier on this year when it was released and we had a bunch of club 80 midfielders released after tonali's objective um but what a huge boost to this card 1600 thumbs up people are loving this tonali also i believe this might be a little fifa myth for like mad hd gamer or something but i believe that all three of tonali's special cards this year have come through objectives the 77 rated ones to watch the 87 rated moments and now the 96 footies i believe they were all objectives. So that's kind of crazy that three special cards for Tanali this year and all three were from objectives. That's just kind of an interesting stat, of course, as we had that content yesterday. But that is a really, really nice objective. So if you're grinding the Serie A weekend league this weekend, that is a card I would 100% keep your eyes on because that guy looks really, really good. Should be in your squad if you're going to use a Serie A team. So that's just my take on that card right there but i'm gonna be watching the market a little bit not really trying to make some coins but if it does drop the fodder enough today where i would want to go in and do an 87 times 10 i might buy the stuff to do that because those sbcs look really really op so let me know down in the comments if you got that fifa 22 beta code i want to know if you did um and also check your email if you haven't you might have one sitting in your spam section or um in one of the other folders right mine was in like the promotions folder of gmail it's kind of interesting but anyways, if you did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.